Hey everyone and welcome to episode 105 of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert Lewis. I'll once again be your host for today's show. We appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch this video and all of our past videos. Uh, if you ever want to reference our notes for this video or any of our past videos, you can find those on our blog page, mrbeer.com slash blog. Uh, we do kind of do written posts about all the videos as well. So if you don't want to hear us talk or you'd rather just read about it, head on over there. Uh, you can find all our notes and along with a bunch of other interesting uh, blog posts that maybe we can answer some questions you got or teach you some new recipes about doing different things with beer and all kinds of fun stuff over there. All right, so today's topic is something that um, I thought would be an interesting one. I think it's a stuff that gets overlooked a lot. So it's how to properly clean your bottles. Um, it's not really something we talk about in our instruction, something that I've, and something that I haven't really seen that much online either. I mean, people talk about, you know, how to properly sanitize your bottles before you bottle them, but not so much the steps you, sh the steps you should take to clean them after you drink your beer. Uh, so I kind of wanted to break down the proper way to clean them so the bottles will last well into the future. Um, and if you take care of them for a long time, they can last pretty much indefinitely. You do have to replace caps every so often, but if you're keeping them clean and everything, then you should be pretty good to go. Um, so if you are not cleaning your bottles properly or you just don't clean them at all, or you're just rinsing them, um, it's gonna increase a risk for getting infections that can kind of sit in there when the bottles have crevices in them and some stuff like that. So if you're not getting all that sediment out or any leftover beer residue out, when you go to bottle your next batch, even with sanitizing, uh, sometimes that can create some infections. So you wanna make sure that you're cleaning your bottles once you finish it each and every time. Um, all right, so once you finish pouring the beer out of your bottles or if you're, if you're drinking straight out of the bottles, what are the steps you should do to clean it? So the first step would be to rinse it out with uh, warm water in your sink. We recommend filling the bottle about halfway up, giving it a little swirl around in there, and then dump that out. And then I'd fill it up again. And, and what that first rinse is gonna do, that's gonna get any of the beer residue that's left in there out. It's gonna get some of that sediment out, maybe not all of the sediment out. It's gonna help get the, the, the good chunk of it out. Um, and the second step is kind of repeat that process, fill it up halfway, put your cap on though and give it a really good shake. So shake it up really well, let that water kind of shake everything up and mix everything in. That should help get the rest of the trub out of the bottom of the bottle and then dump that out. So at this point, what I usually do is I'll add a little bit of unscented dish soap. I will fill it up halfway with water, add the cap back on and then I shake it up really good so I get that soapy water, covering the inside, making sure everything's clean killing any bacteria that might be left over in there. And then what I'll do is I'll usually take a bottle brush and kind of scrub the inside of it. Uh, you do want to be careful about what type of bottle brush you're using. If you're going to use something uh, that is abrasive or that has kind of harder uh, bristles, you can risk scratching the inside of your bottle, which those scratches are great places for bacteria to sit and for infections to take place in your beer. So what I recommend is usually um, using like a sponge brush. You can find those on Amazon for pretty cheap. They're just like a sponge that's attached to a brush and you get that in there, get the bottom really well and get all the sides and make sure you shake it all up or make sure you're scrubbing everything in there so you're good to go. And also make sure you do the top of your cap as well just because if you're shaking things up or even your beer, you can get some stuff stuck on the inside of the top of the cap. So make sure that you are washing that as well. Um, so after you scrub it, you're just gonna wanna rinse the bottle really good until all the soapy water is out. So once all the soap is out, all that water is gone, you scrub your bottle, you're good to go. At this point, I recommend letting it air dry and then put it, in the, put it wherever you store your bottles until you're ready to bottle your next batch of beer. Um, so this is the stuff that you should repeat every time after you finish a bottle. It'll help them last a lot longer and keep them fresh. Uh, if you can't clean your bottle right away, if you're having people over or having a bunch of people drinking some home brews and you're just like, I'm going to get to that bottle later. Um, I just do a quick rinse and then just fill it up with some water and just let it soak just put it on the counter, then you're good to go. So at least you didn't take, you know, you didn't scrub it, but you're not letting it just sit. Cause if you let, if you pour all the beer out of your bottle and then you just let it sit, that trub's gonna get hard. It's gonna get crusty in there. It's gonna cause some issues, which can make it difficult to clean down the road. Um, and one more stuff that I wanted to add that, that I do with my bottles, not every time, but after every couple batches that I brew, is uh, I let them soak in a solution with the Kraft Miser Oxygen Brewery Wash. So basically I just fill up like a five gallon bucket, or I have a five gallon bucket. I fill up like two or three gallons of water, uh, follow the directions in the back of the wash for how much 
how many scoops to add. Mix it up really well. Nice, fully soak the bottles in there. Let them soak for a good five, 10 minutes. Um, then after that, you're just gonna wanna rinse them very well. So usually what I'll do is I'll soak them in there and then I'll rinse them and then I'll soak them in just some plain water as well. It gets all that stuff off, make sure all the cleaner's off and they're good to go. So that's kind of an extra step if you wanted to do every once in a while to help your bottles really last a long time. Um, but you know, if you want your bottles to last, taking proper care of them and cleaning them is, is, is the definitely the way to go. So it's gonna wrap it up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to uh, like, comment, or share it where you can. We really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you're following us on all social media channels. We're at Mr. Beer on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube is where we are most active. If you want to uh, join fellow Mr. Beer Brewers, join our Facebook group. Uh, that's Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. You can find that by just going to Facebook.com. Searching Mr. Beer's Brewing Society or just pull the app on your phone. Search Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. Uh, we ask that you answer three questions and we will let you in. Um, if you don't answer the three questions, we won't let you in. So please make sure you answer those. Even if you're new, just let us know that you're interested in brewing or want to learn about Mr. Beer and we'll go ahead and let you in. Uh, we do let people in in batches uh, instead of at one at a time. It's usually about once a week or twice a week. We'll let in 50 or 60 people at a time. So it makes a big, nice Mr. Beer welcome for everyone. Uh, so it's going to wrap it up and I will talk to you guys next week. Cheers.